The first political action that I took part of was in 2006 in Chile, where I'm from, uh, during the student revolution. Uh, it was called the Penguin Revolution because we were students uh, at the time wearing uniforms. So I was 16 years old and we were protesting basically to get fair um, education for all in the country. That was the first radicalizing moment I had. A song that I listen to when I feel politically powerless uh, is called Desperté, which means I woke up by a Chilean artist called Tata Barahona, which was written on the occasion of the uprising of 2019 in Chile. And the lyrics basically talk about this feeling of realizing that you're not alone when you are on the streets and you find yourself with others. And it's such a powerful lyric and melody that whenever I listen to it, I'm like, oh, this is the reason why I do politics, because you find community through that. And that is very powerful for me. I think it's important to have both allies and comrades because I think uh, weaving political spaces is about creating relationships with others, but relationships have different characters. Comrades for me are people who are closer to me and maybe have the same type of language that we're using to talk about our solidarity, whereas allies are people who are more aligned to what we're doing, but they're not necessarily in the same space. And I think also making politics is about dealing with differences. So. I wouldn't want everyone to be a comrade because that would mean that we're all the same. And I think that instead of that, we need to learn how to be with each other. So I think we need both. I would definitely call myself a radical. Uh, the way that I understand radicalism has to do with looking into making changes that are fundamental. This is where radical comes from, I think, from the idea of like the root. So I think. Um, most of the um, situations that we deal with when we organize politically, uh, they are actually the symptoms of something that is beneath. And I think the only way to change those conditions for a better life is to actually go towards the foundation of that. So I think no political action can actually be effective without being radical. Who I think of whenever I need courage is the people that love me and the people that I love. These are the people that give me strength, that make me feel safe, um, and that give also meaning to whatever I do. Ultimately, the reason why I do politics is to create spaces where we can have more love around each other. So this is kind of like the guiding star for me and what makes me feel at home. So, and this is what gives me my strength. Many authors that have impacted the way that I think politically and the way that I act politically, but definitely a very important one is Sara Ahmed uh, in her book, The Cultural Politics of Emotion. Basically, she talks about the role of political emotions in the spaces that we build, and the way that she approaches this concept is talking about the way that we are affected by the spaces that we're in and how we affect the spaces that we're in back. It has a lot to do with the body, it has a lot to do with the emotions, it has a lot to do with our positionalities. So this is what really helps me understand the complexities of the spaces that we try to build.